Elena Ivanova, second after the short program. And she finished second to Slutskaya at the Junior Nationals last year as well. Elena, 15 years of age. Doing a little bit of a Oksana Bayul here, taking her time getting into her starting position. believe she got three turns out of that jump with as little speed as she had to get herself up into the air. Very seldom you see a triple-triple combination at the junior level. You very rarely see them at the world level out of the women. attempt it was short rotation she actually landed it with a half a turn to go on a square edge and it just put her right down she had on the first one, but simply not enough height to complete her rotation. got a little bit of what I call end-to-end -end action. Simply she's got to jump at one end, turn around, skate it down the ring, done the jump at the other end of the ring, which doesn't stand well for it on a choreographic basis, but she laid in a lot of solid triples in the course of this program. She had some good triples, but I felt the program relied too much on the jumps, and if you don't land the jumps, then the program really goes down the tube. 15-year-old Elena Ivanova of Russia, who came into this long program in second place. So you mentioned the jumps, Barb. Perhaps she would have been wise to maybe tone the program back a little bit and skate it cleaner. But here we're going to take a look at that unbelievable combination. Triple flip, plants her toe straight up. Three revolutions, lands. Now she's unbalanced. She resets herself. And brute strength gets her up into the air, completes three turns and lands. Her coach is Nina Richkina. And the technical merit marks... Low mark from Canadian Gene Matthews, as well as the Polish judge at 4.9. And the presentation marks don't come up. A 4.7 from Canada and a 10th place ordinal 
She has two seconds and two thirds. Slutskaya remains first and Ivanova may drop down. Christina Zako, the hometown favorite, coming up next when we return to Budapest and more of the 95.